Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to the session. How are you? I'm absolutely fine, ma'am. What about you, ma'am? I'm also doing exceptionally well. Thank you so much for asking. How was your day? My day is, ma'am, uh, just not uh, special. It's uh, today I attend my college classes, and uh, I'm here to taking session with you. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You have just uh, taken classes, like you went to college. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's great. Uh, may I know about yourself since we are meeting for the very first time? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my name is Sarthak Vyas, ma'am, and uh, I am from uh, Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. And uh, currently, I am uh, pursuing my master's degree in uh, computer application, MC, from okay. Bhopal. Mm hmm. Okay, that's great. And what is your pride and joy? What do you do in your spare time? Uh, uh, in the spare time, uh, as my uh, uh, education in my education uh, i am doing uh, coding and sports coding and sports okay you are interested in coding hmm. yeah yes yeah, i am doing a master of computer application mm -hmm. uh, because uh, in my future i will go in a software company and yeah. there i will do and uh, uh, making complex uh, so do i need to introduce myself too yes ma'am Okay, so as you know, my name is Rajni Verma. I'm from Shri Ganganagar, Rajasthan. Uh, and uh, currently, I run a YouTube channel. I provide page sessions to big nerds in English. And I have done my graduation in Korean language from JNU New Delhi. Apart from that, if I talk about my hobbies, I love reading books and talking to people. Even I enjoy writing too these days. That's all about me. Um, how, how long you are uh, you doing this? Uh, YouTube channel. It's been two years now. I started my all the journeys together. I must say, the YouTube journey and learning English. Both the journeys I started together in two thousand twenty-two. Speaking journey. At that time, I was not good at all. At all, I used to make a lot of mistakes, like a lot of, and had a lot of fear, hesitation. Didn't know how to speak properly. Didn't have a lot of ideas about the language uh, so that time only when i started learning the language speaking the language at the same time i started my youtube channel too yeah uh, as you said you have completed uh, your degree in which in korean language korean language so you know ma'am korean language yeah i know and uh, uh, the degree name is korean language name like uh, it is just I have done my graduation in Korean language. Ah, BA. Yes, BA. BA in Korean. Hmm. Okay. So you uh, which uh, you do any entrance exam for this uh, get college to get this? College? Yes, yes. Uh, in order to get admission in JNU, we have to give entrance examinations. Uh, although I gave the examination in uh, for the first year like right after my 12th standard but i was not able to crack that and get the admission in jnu so later i filled the form of uh, cuj that was central university of jharkhand so there also fortunately i got admission in that particular department which is korean later in second year when i was very a little good at korean i applied again for jnu so that time the exam was in korean and uh, the written was also in Korean. The interview was also in Korean. So I was able to do. And first time I was not able because everything was in English. And that was again the issue that I was not able to crack. Later when I was good at Korean, I was able to get the admission in JNU. So that's how I came from CUJ to JNU. And then I completed my graduation there. Uh, why, why you decide to uh, go in Korean? Uh, doing graduation in Korean? Curiosity made me to pick that. To do something different, that was the thing in my mind. Like uh, in my 11th, standard, 11th and 12th standard, I was doing, uh, I had arts basically, like uh, economics, geography, history and all. I didn't enjoy those subjects. I was bored and because everything is connected, you know. Uh -huh. Be yeah, Everything is connected because I was not very good at English. And in my 10th standard, I decided to pick uh, science for my 11th and 12th but oh. the chemistry physics biology everything was in english that was the problem so like reluctantly i had to pick arts so when i reluctantly picked the arts i was not interested at all so i just completed my 11th or 12th and then i thought 
what next i don't want to pursue anything in this these subjects and i cannot go in the, with science because i don't know how to properly read write everything so i thought to explore something different something new and that's how i got introduced to the korean language um you decide to join the uh, graduation in korean language then uh, you don't think ki, uh, how where i will go get the job after doing this graduation so most of the students uh, are thought this ki after uh, pursuing this degree where i, I will do job there are ample amount of opportunities in the market nowadays you can get easily if you are very good at the languages not only in korean if you are good at japanese chinese and then there are other languages spanish people are doing their graduations and masters in that even in my department particularly many people are doing their phd's so there are ample amount of opportunities nowadays and even people go for the higher studies to korea so a lot of my friends are right now in korea they are working there and they are some of them are studying there some of them are working there and earning really a good amount of money so that's then, uh, oh hmm. what you, what uh, what you do other than uh, this work other than this i don't do anything it is like i provide sessions to beginners intermediate so i take sessions and i work on youtube and uh, maybe i am planning to switch to entirely on youtube because i want to become a a famous and good youtuber that's why my dream have you visited any other countries countries of uh, i don't Canada? have uh, any interest i'm not keen to visit any different countries not even south korea like i can visit once for a week right kind of a traveler uh, but i don't have any dream to stay in any country and if you get a chance to uh, where would you like to go just to visit first south korea yeah. because i know many things about south korea i have read the history i have read the you know got to know about culture food manners etiquettes a lot of things about south korea uh, so i would love to visit first south korea later i would maybe uh, singapore or some other countries i don't think much of other countries because i'm not fond of i don't know why i love india a lot and i think diversity in india fascinates me the most and um, uh, what skill uh, you are improving now what skill i am improving uh, um, presentation skill okay. because i have to teach uh, like i have been teaching to beginners and intermediates and i have the dream to train even the the seniors like who are working somewhere who are already working professionals and seniors so i can be more expressive and i can present well and i am working on my personality development too. so i want to be that too in future so in in future it's my dream to help especially the female category the women who want to do something on their own so there are certain things working on the mindset working on the psychology side too so i just read something or watch something which can help me to understand others behavior others way of thinking if they are saying even one to two sentences i can know what his or her thought process is so that's these are the things which i am doing okay. um, uh, i have completed my 12th and graduation also from hindi medium and uh, now i am doing my masters in english mm -hmm. uh, matlab i medium is english doing computer application but and uh, after a few days i have a interview for job in it okay. sector mm -hmm. just because i am uh, to improve my communication skill uh, i am communicating mm -hmm. with you Uh, I have a problem that is कि I have a uh, very uh, low uh, very weak vocabulary. Mm. I'm very weak in vocabulary. I'm not getting uh, uh, professional words to uh, speak. Mm. So how do we improve our vocabulary? And I'm also weak in grammar, but uh, vocabulary mm. is a very extremely issue. common issue. I must say uh, that is vocabulary. But uh, tell me first, what do you think is the uh method to remember words and recall words and enhance vocabulary what do you think i have used uh, many strategy like uh, uh, reading books and uh, uh, learning uh, vocabularies uh, vocabularies uh, writing vocabularies in the copy and uh, reading 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 and <laughs> how many this... words used to read or used to learn in a day uh, i was do uh, before uh, Uh, when i was in uh, graduation uh, mm -hmm. i did this 
but when i comes in master i'm uh, i getting lot of work so i just leave this and just uh, di- directly uh, communicating with people to improve mm-hmm. my vocabulary great that's even the the foremost thing you should do always whatever you know how many words you have you should start with that uh, but i was asking like how many words you used to learn in a day like 10 or 20 how many uh, i'm not practicing for vocabulary but when you did that time whenever i study any article i got any word so i just uh, i can't uh, understand the word i will just go and translate the word then mm. i uh, if i understand the word then i will uh, remember hmm so keep reading reading is very very good then habit i, I must say that's very essential in order to i'm i'm not i'm not uh, particularly uh, take a book and uh, write down the vocabularies and uh, learn, mm. learn this vocabulary i'm not do, do this thing i just take an article any article from the uh, google and an internet and i read this article uh, and any word i got is uh, any word i stuck there i mm. will just take this word and translate that word mm. J- just this type i'm uh, learning the vocabulary that's not enough you will forget and that vanishes i guess you are experiencing it already start writing down the words in your personal diary keep a separate diary where you can note down the words which are commonly used by people as you are looking forward to get the professional words right in order to crack the interview and even maybe in future you have to use so for professional words start writing down in your diary i still do i still write down every single day two to three words even the words which i know but i am not using those words there are certain words you know but while speaking you are not able to recall immediately and then you feel stuck like people get stuck or they take a lot of time to think see i also know a lot of words and sometimes i am not able to recall that's that time i have to stop and i have to think okay that breaks the flow of speaking entirely okay and we are not able to generate then ideas quickly we forget what what we were thinking of right so that's is that is kind of an hindrance what i do i revise the words which i know already but i am not able to use i revise Uh, like continuously i revise words i write down them again and again multiple times because while speaking if i know still word and i if i feel like okay this word i know already i don't need to write down if i will not write it down it will not stuck here for you know prompt response like if i want to remember it promptly i should write down the words even which i know already okay because we want to speak effortlessly so जैसे हम हिंदी में बोलते हैं वी डोंट नीड टू थिंक ऑफ द वर्ड्स राइट सिमिलरली इफ यू वांट टू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश दैट यू डोंट वांट टू थिंक इवन यू वांट टू स्पीक एफर्टलेसली देन कीप राइटिंग द वर्ड्स इवन यू नो मल्टीपल टाइम्स रिवाइज दोज वर्ड्स एंड देन आई मस्ट से डू नॉट लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ वर्ड्स इफ यू हैव लिटल टाइम देन यू शुड लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ अदरवाइज गो विद टू टू थ्री वर्ड्स इन अ डे बट ट्राई टू इनकॉर्पोरेट using them while speaking whenever you interact with people as you already told that you are practicing now for like you are preparing for interviews too so you can just yeah. speak and use those words whatever you are learning two or three words in a day okay ma'am i will try this strategy sure you should and keep reading because you as you mentioned that you don't read nowadays it's not good reading enhances a lot of things so keep reading it is it is la, like the essential practice that everyone should do yeah any and, other uh, question this because ma'am uh, it's over but uh, uh, any other question uh, we can i can ask any person question uh, what what is your uh, future plan uh, most of the interviewer ask this question uh because i when when to candidate uh, where do you want to see yourself after 5 year hmm. so how how to answer this question uh yes it needs a lot of clarity and in my case the clarity i have right now is like a famous youtuber where i see myself speaking flawlessly and training many people maybe i want to like this is my dream to become an a coach of not only 
uh, spoken English, but for personality development, as I already told you that I want to train people. I want to help women personally. They mostly I know many people or many women or girls, girls who want to pursue their career, but don't, they don't know how to and how to select, how to choose the path. They don't know. So I want to actually guide. Sometimes I feel that I have that skill to guide people. And sometimes I'm, I feel that I'm able to motivate at the same time them. Uh, so I, I see myself like a coach where I'm training many people. Uh, you would like to join any institute? Not uh, join, a, but uh, my uh, own. <laughs> Not join. I don't want to join. Yeah, okay. I want my yeah, own yeah, institute. Yeah. Yes. My own brand, my own name. Hmm. Where I can even hire others to, where I can give the employment to others for the other responsibilities. Yeah. Then why, why are you not, uh, why, what are you waiting for? Just to open? Uh, <laughs> I definitely uh, think of it and I regularly think of it. And very soon, touch wood, I, I think I will be able to. I'm not, not exactly waiting, but there are certain things which I have to look after first. Later, I will do that. Yeah. First, I need to focus on myself too. So I'm working on myself these days. I, as I already told you when you asked uh, which skill you are working upon. So there are certain things. And I feel a lot of, you know, in order to understand people entirely, if you are in front of a group of people, like a bunch of people are in front of you are, or they are asking something, you're expecting something great from you, which can, in, and, you know, drastically help them. I should have that much knowledge. I should know that much. So for that reason, I think I feel I need to read a lot of books first. So that's my first motive to read books related to human behavior, psychology, life, business, a lot of things. So I can guide everyone, whoever comes in my way, whoever asks any question to me. Uh, suppose you have uh, opened an institute and uh, what, what strategy you follow uh, to uh, make uh, people communicate, to communicate people, uh, I mean, to improve the communication skill of people, uh, what strategy you use? Because you have a, a offline center. Mm. So what will you do? How will you take the classes? Take the classes? I have, uh, I haven't thought much of the strategy, but I have... Uh, thought of the nature of myself being a coach which is like i should keep the candid demeanor because this language has created a lot of fear in everyone so many a times people have this thing in their mind to join a center or to start learning the language but, but sorry but they take the back step because of the fear and it happens because of some teachers too like they are too strict or maybe they are they they judge students or maybe they scold them they don't provide the freedom to make the mistakes and i will look i will take care of it you don't need to need to think much of it so that kind of environment definitely i would keep in my institute particularly so people can freely make mistakes as many as they want and i they feel they should feel like i'm i'm they should feel comfortable around me in my institute. Okay. Anything else that you want to ask? It's it was like kind of my interview, <laughs> but I love. Oh, you, are, you are not asking. You are not asking the question. Yeah, you, you can ask me any question. No, you started asking a lot of questions, so I thought to answer just because I love answering too. That's what uh, I genuinely enjoy. So I think uh, you have covered all the questions you had, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm covered. You can ask. Okay. Okay. So yeah. tell me, what are your future plans? To just work in a software company or something else? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, my recent future plan is now uh, work in a software company and uh, doing a job as a software developer there. Mm hmm. Okay. So I want to join any uh, any uh, small uh, small and large company mm -hmm. to just uh, average salary package. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why did you decide to pursue your career in this particular field at the first place? 
okay uh, i have completed my bsc uh, which was in computer science mm-hmm. so i thought to need to go uh, in it sector because i have uh, read a three year computer science and then i need mm-hmm. to go in it mm-hmm. sector to make my career but i i so, don't you think that in it sector a lot of pressure a lot of uh, uh, burden will you be able to manage it yeah ma'am i will try to manage this <laughs> i know many uh, of I, my I, friends i heard this there is a there is a lot of pressure there and also this this is a recession time in the it sector uh, mm. many of the not getting job in the it sector just because ai oh. so but <laughs> just because i uh, i invest my 3 year in this field just i don't want to uh, waste that 3 year and mm. continue with but we cannot predict life i personally don't i feel uh, myself lucky enough i believe in that earlier i used to i didn't know much about my uh, fortune or misfortune but now i feel i am fortunate enough uh, i did like i completed my graduation in korea and i was also predicting to do job in some kind of uh, company i didn't have the you know the interest to go korea and do masters there and then do work there no i don't have that but just, again just because only uh huh i am doing masters here from because on the bsc basis uh, you will uh, face difficulty uh, to get the job in it sector because you have to do btech uh, other than uh, mm-hmm. mtech so getting job uh, in it sector easily but on the bsc basis you will uh, face difficulty to get the job just because i am doing mca if i get a job in bsc basis in the it sector then definitely i will uh, do but uh, there is a problem in uh, getting job on the basis of bsc hmm that's because i'm doing master if i complete a btech in computer science then definitely i will go for job i will never go for masters hmm okay yeah so i was saying then i uh, came back i started preparing for banking there was no at all any interest related to banking for two years i did prepare banking yeah and then the culture mm-hmm. of bank also like the work culture in bank also i i didn't like at all then i thought to do something else and that's what i started just just started learning the language that's all that's how my journey started and i feel lucky enough that it's going good and i know uh, now i will be able to make a dent and i will be able to create something <laughs> yes so i i believe that it is like predecided by the universe and we just have to follow the path whatever comes whatever has been shown to us and that's how i am following okay so how do you practice english Um, i just practice uh, uh, by two things mm. just writing articles and uh, by communicating with someone on i use uh, different type of applications uh, to communicate uh, with someone uh, i just call and connect with any random persons and i will just communicate with him in english but okay. there is a one major problem ki i am speaking also wrong sentence and they are also speaking wrong sentence so mm-hmm. we both know english better le so we need a person a coach who told you that, told you that ki you are wrong in this sentence you can tell you so, yes hmm feedback in, uh, yes feedback yes, matters i am hmm. also speaking as which is a uh, grammatically wrong but he understand then he say yeah yeah i understand i understand but how i know ki i speak wrong this is a major true issue true concern this. true concern and yeah. you should be concerned about it uh yes so you can join for i i don't think so that you need much help so you can join any particular coach for a month just if you can afford that would be i guess the great help that you can help yourself because we are the first who can help ourselves right so if you take even for one month you will get to know about your mistakes you will get to know about the things that you need to focus upon and later you can study like self study you can do that and you can just i guess that would be the faster way for you to learn it or command have a great command over the communication skills okay definitely i will try to join any course yeah any other 
uh i i don't say that course where they teach grammar I mean, and language no just speaking where you get a speaking partner or a tutor who can correct you and who can help you and who can give you the right no, feedback no, there is a there is a different platform but they are charging lots i know i started from I there so i know that i started with clappingo uh so i know very well but that's a great help i must say if you are getting the feedback at the same time it it can be it can be like not actually good for you at the same time if you are not putting efforts so i know many people who joined the clapping go english yari but they are still complaining they are still saying that okay i don't uh, feel confident or i don't have much words i don't have this that i cannot speak i still make mistakes and i know personally too uh because uh, when you get the feedback at the same time it is your responsibility that work on it otherwise you take the sessions with tutor or not you will remain at the same place so but one more thing you can try like if you cannot afford any tutor record your videos for 5 minutes okay and you know grammar and while listening to yourself you will get okay this was a sentence i spoke and it's a little uh, there is a little mistake that also you will get and you can say i could have used some other uh, other words here or i could have used a better sentence here so like this if you are recording 5 minutes video you can get the feedback you can give your you know feedback yourself you can write down and then you can make better sentences you can change even the sentences you can change even the words like this also you can improve but everything requires efforts so it is up to you okay this is yeah. strategy i will also try you can try everybody out there who is watching can try this if they are not able to afford a tutor because feedback really works otherwise i know many people who are speaking english talking to many people for a year and haven't improved speaking fluently but in correct english unka right. confidence badh gaya unki fluency badh gayi hai but english ka level jo tha grammar ka level jo tha that is same that's what happens with people so if you want to speak correct english then you should simultaneously put some extra efforts into learning too that's what i did and i'm proud of it myself like i did actually hmm okay uh, we can just wind this session up right here do you have any last question last thing that you want to share no ma'am it's no? no i think okay you, no you problem aha uh -huh. no you problem have, you have yeah no you have any question to me answer now right now i don't have any question and thank you so much okay. for joining the session it was really lovely talking to you i enjoyed yeah. answering your all the questions and i hope they will help you somewhere in your journey okay yeah you. you're welcome bye bye